Imagine a world before recorded history, before the first empires, even before the last ice age. We're venturing back to a time so profoundly ancient, it reshapes our very understanding of what it means to be human. This is the dawn of our story. Approximately 5.3 million years ago, a pivotal era when the very first steps towards humanity were taken. Join us as we peel back the layers of time to uncover the mysterious origins of Australopith. Our journey begins in the late Miocene to early Pliocene epochs, a period of immense geological and climatic shifts that dramatically reshaped Earth's landscapes. This wasn't merely a backdrop, it was the crucible in which our early ancestors, the Australopithecines were forged, their stories written in fossilized bones and ancient sediments, whispering secrets about the very first bipedal hominins. If you're fascinated by the origins of humanity, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss future expeditions into our deep past. Five million years ago, Africa was a dynamic continent, undergoing profound transformations. The colossal forces of plate tectonics were actively sculpting the Great Rift Valley, a monumental geological feature that would profoundly influence the evolution of life, including our own lineage. This dramatic fracturing of the land created new ecological niches and altered weather patterns, setting the stage for radical adaptation. It was a world of shifting landscapes and emerging opportunities. As the Rift Valley deepened, it created a rain shadow, gradually transforming the once lush, widespread forests of East Africa into a mosaic of woodlands, savannas and grasslands. This environmental shift was not sudden but a slow, relentless process that favored new forms of life. Animals that could adapt to more open environments thrived, while those dependent on dense forests faced new challenges. This changing climate pushed species to evolve or perish. The emerging savannas were teeming with a dizzying array of wildlife, very different from what we see today. Giant giraffes with shorter necks, massive mastodons, and peculiar three-toed horses roamed alongside early antelopes and formidable redditors. This rich biodiversity formed a complex food web where every creature played a vital role in the ecosystem. Our early ancestors were just one small part of this grand, wild tapestry. Life for early hominins was not without its perils. The Pliocene savannas were home to formidable predators, including saber-toothed cats like Dinophilus, giant hyenas, and powerful crocodiles lurking in watering holes. These creatures were apex predators, constantly hunting, making survival a daily struggle for any smaller, less protected animal. Our ancestors had to develop acute awareness and cunning strategies to avoid becoming prey. It was amidst this dynamic, challenging landscape that Australopithecus first emerged, a genus of hominins that would walk the earth for over four million years. The earliest known species, Australopithecus anamensis, appeared around 4.2 million years ago, primarily in what is now Kenya and Ethiopia. These creatures were a revolutionary step in our evolutionary journey, marking a distinct divergence from other apes. They were not yet human, but they were no longer simply apes. The defining characteristic of Australopithecus, and arguably the most significant evolutionary leap, was obligate bipedalism the ability to walk upright consistently on two legs. This adaptation offered numerous advantages. It freed the hands for carrying food or offspring, improved long-distance travel, and allowed for better vigilance against predators in open environments. It was a fundamental shift that literally changed their perspective on the world. While bipedal Australopithecus still retained many arboreal features, indicating they likely spent significant time in trees for safety, foraging, and sleep. Their skeletons show a fascinating mosaic of traits, a pelvis adapted for upright walking, but long arms and curved fingers suited for climbing. They were transitional beings, perfectly adapted to a mixed environment of woodlands and open plains. Their bodies told a story of adaptation. What did these early hominins eat? Fossil evidence suggests a varied diet, primarily consisting of fruits, nuts, seeds, roots, and possibly insects. Their teeth, though larger than ours, indicate a preference for tough, fibrous plant material. They were resourceful foragers, constantly searching for sustenance in a challenging environment. This diverse diet likely contributed to their adaptability and survival. While direct evidence is scarce, it's widely believed that Australopithecus lived in small, cohesive social groups, much like modern chimpanzees or baboons. Group living offered protection from predators, facilitated cooperative foraging, and allowed for the sharing of resources and knowledge. 
These early social bonds were crucial for survival and laid the groundwork for more complex human societies. Family units likely formed the core of these groups. Australopithecus had brains significantly larger than those of chimpanzees, though still much smaller than modern humans. This increased brain size suggests a growing capacity for complex thought, problem solving, and perhaps even rudimentary communication while there's no direct evidence of complex tool making at this very early stage. Their cognitive abilities were a crucial precursor to the innovations that would follow. They were learning to navigate their world with growing intelligence. Perhaps the most famous Australopithecus discovery is Lucy, a remarkably complete skeleton of Australopithecus afarensis found in Ethiopia in 1974, dating back 3.2 million years. Lucy provided irrefutable evidence of early hominin bipedalism, and a wealth of information about their anatomy and locomotion. Her discovery was a landmark moment, fundamentally reshaping our understanding of human evolution. Lucy truly walked among us. Further evidence of bipedalism comes from the incredible Latoli footprints in Tanzania, preserved in volcanic ash dating back 3.6 million years. These fossilized tracks clearly show two or three bipedal hominins walking side by side their strides. Remarkably similar to modern human walking, it's a poignant, tangible connection to our distant ancestors, allowing us to literally follow in their footsteps. Australopithecus was not a dead-end branch but a crucial stepping stone in our evolutionary tree. Later species such as Australopithecus gahi and Australopithecus sediba show traits that bridge the gap towards the genus Homo, indicating a gradual transition, these later forms exhibited slightly larger brains and more human-like hand structures, hinting at the emergence of stone tool use. They were pioneers of a new era, while Australopithecus themselves are not widely credited with consistent tool manufacturing. Evidence suggests that around 3.3 million years ago, simple stone tools appeared in the archaeological record. It's possible that some later Aust species, or perhaps the earliest members of the Homo lineage, were the creators of these Alduin tools. This marks a critical moment, the beginning of technology. The longevity of the Australopithecus genus, spanning over 4 million years, is a testament to their remarkable adaptability. They successfully navigated shifting climates, evolving landscapes, and the constant threat of predators. Their success lay in their generalized diet, their bipedal locomotion, and their social cohesion. Allowing them to exploit a wide range of resources, they were true survivors in a harsh world. Around two million years ago, as new, more advanced hominin species like Homo habilis began to emerge, Australopithecus gradually faded from the fossil record. The reasons for their eventual decline are complex, possibly involving increased competition for resources, environmental changes, or the rise of more cognitively advanced toolmaking hominin. Their legacy, however, remains indelible. The story of Australopithecus is more than just a chapter in our past. It's the foundational narrative of our humanity. They took the first upright steps, navigated challenging environments, and set the stage for the dramatic evolutionary journey that led to us. Without their adaptations and survival, the path to Homo sapiens would never have been forged. They are the true pioneers of our lineage. From the ancient savannas of Africa to the very origins of bipedalism, the story of Australopithecus is a profound reminder of our deep connection to the natural world and the incredible journey of life on Earth. What aspect of their existence did you find most intriguing? Do you have questions about early human evolution? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights help us explore these fascinating topics even further. Thank you for joining us on this incredible voyage into the dawn of early humans.